New York. That's the first thing that you want to talk about. You know, the things that molded you from your hometown. What do you remember as a kid growing up? What problem solving did you do in order to go towards that dream and that ambition? When people do YouTube, that's what you should be focused on, is telling your hero story. Good morning, guys. Today is Tuesday, July 16, 2024. It's about eight o'clock in the morning and um, just getting to the office. Today, I wanna to talk about the hero story and I'm gonna do part one of the framework. After I finished work last night, so I go on social media and I see things from the Republican National Convention in Wisconsin. We all see, we all see and we all know what happened on Saturday at the, at the Trump rally, right? And now it's two days later, it's Monday and they, they, the Republicans start this national convention and Donald Trump enters the arena bandage on his ear almost looks like i've never seen his face like that like it just looks like he was in gratitude to still have his life and to be going on this path to possibly becoming the president again and he has this moment with his son donald jr but him walking in, it was almost, to me, how I looked at it, it's like the end of his hero story. He's almost going to ride into the sunset with these last, if he's elected president, these last four years. And that's exactly what I'm talking about, about a hero story. His origins didn't start there. They talk about the bankruptcies. So these are, you know, the origin story is like the million dollars that his father supposedly gave him. That truth that happened, right? But then uh, the journey stage, which is starting to build, but then falling back down, then becoming the hero, right? Um, it's a framework of life that we all should be putting into place. And that's our hero story. When people do YouTube, that's what you should be focused on, is telling your hero story. Maybe you have to go back to your origin story, right? In order to get up to where you are at now. But it's important to start at your origin story. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about today is your origin story of your hero story. So uh, I put together a PowerPoint and then I'm going to go through everything on the board. I just dropped a video about the 90 day challenge monk mode. Please let me know if you guys wanna do this with me. Look, I'm trying to change my life, for real. Like, look, we can change our life together. That's the community that I'm trying to garner here on YouTube. People that's trying to change their life. People that want to add value to other people in the world um, by their story. And people that want to do impact in the world, right? From the things that they're doing. That's the community that I want on my YouTube. I'm losing subscribers now. I am, I'm losing subscribers, which is a good thing. Which is a good thing because the people that I'm losing, they didn't find me for the right things. So you guys, keep going, keep, keep unsubscribing because I'm going to find the people that I'm supposed to find. So let's get into the origin story framework on a PowerPoint and then um, I'll go to the board and break it down a little bit more. What we're going to do right now is we're going to get into the hero story framework, which is part, this is the uh, part one, 
which is the origin story. What is your origin story? This is very, very important um, because people miss their origin story. Like in any film, there's an origin story. Where does this start? It's act one of the production. And you yourself need, an, you need an act one. Like you need an origin story. Any superhero has an origin story. Think of yourself as a superhero. You need an origin story. And we're going to go through part one. This is the, the, the hero story framework part one. Your hometown, right? I was born and raised in whatever city. And a description of your hometown. Town. Uh, growing up in such a hometown environment shaped my perspective and instilled uh, a deep sense of values, characteristics. Anything that was, you know, how you were influenced by your hometown. This would be the start of your origin story. And this could be a video in itself, right? This could be your first video, actually, um, as you're building your hero story. Maybe you go back and get pictures as you were, uh, of you as, as you were a kid and put those into that video as you tell this story. Um, your background. Um, coming from a description of your background, uh, I had to overcome these obstacles, these challenges, um, whatever it was related to your background. And experiencing these things taught me the importance of, and here you go, the values and the lessons that you learned from your background, okay? Now, that's, a, you know, that's another video. It could be another video or you can merge these videos, right? But this is the origin story. This is the origin story framework of your hero story that we're going to build out uh, in this, you know, in this framework, okay? And trust me, everybody needs a hero story. You need this framework to start building yourself as a presence online for now, but also as a presence so you live forever in a sense, okay? Your dreams and aspirations. Like, what was your vision for the future, like your dream was what you aspired to do what um did you start working towards that that dream or aspirations did you set specific goals that, you know here in this origin story in this 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 framework you may not have so much data about going towards your dreams. This is maybe a whim, because you're young. You're young, you're, you, you, you just have a young naiveness about yourself in going after whatever dream you're gonna go after, right? Um, so maybe you worked towards that, maybe you didn't. Um, pursuing that passion, right? Um, I believe the following, my passions and doing what I love is the key to achieving my dreams. Is that something, now this is all what you would input, you know, into that, but this is a breakdown of the framework, pursuing your passion, embracing the growth. When you started as a kid, maybe to, maybe you got to a teenager, how much did you grow towards those dreams and aspirations that you envisioned when you were a kid. Okay. So these are, this is the dream and aspirations page, your early obstacles. did you have financial constraints? Um, did you even think of the competition or the, or the market awareness in whatever you were trying to be? For me, it was said that to be an NBA player was hard. Of course, it was it was known that um, 
it was known that they were there were basketball players all around the country that was playing basketball trying to get into the NBA. Uh, so now you want to think about the limited network. I think kids now just say we we'll use basketball for an example. I think kids now can look and say, do they have a limited network or do they have a broad network? Right? They can say, uh, do they know someone that played in the NBA or do they know someone that played in college that they can tap into? So, thinking about what network that you have in order to go out and achieve achieve the dreams, the lofty dreams that we all have. Did you have resource constraints? Now these are all questions that you're going to have to that you're going to have to ask yourself and this is what we're this is why we're doing this and putting this into the hero story framework. Competition. Um again, did you think about your competition that you would have in going after the things that you want to go after? Uh regulatory challenges. We all have this, right? Uh navigating regulatory challenges um Let's just say this could be something like your height. Could it? Yeah, yeah. You know, challenges. I mean, we could say we could just say challenges, right? We could just say challenges. We'll use a basketball player again as an example because I'm a, I'm a basketball player. Your height, uh, your athleticism, the school that you attend. It's many, many challenges. So you're going to have to answer what challenges you may have had early on. And you're going to have to answer those again. Now you have the overcoming those obstacles. Did you do this as a kid? Like persistence. How were you um, persistence at going towards that dream or that ambition? What problem solving did you do? in order to go towards that dream and that ambition. Adaptability. Like, how did you adapt in order to go towards that dream or that ambition? Collaboration, did you know, what did you do in order to get resources from other people that can help you achieve that uh, dream and ambition? Learning from failure. What did you learn when you failed? Because obviously you're definitely going to fail. And how were you resilient in learning and overcoming these obstacles? You can, you'll fill these, these things out as we go along. Now, the lessons that you learned, the lessons that you learned, embracing that failure, using that failure as an opportunity, did you do that? Um... Again, adaptability is key. Were you flexible and willing to adapt to the new situation? Persistence pays off. Um, did you, at this point, early on in your or origin story, did you see any success from your persistence? And continuing to learn. Did you never stop learning? Right, right? What were your, the key things that you took away from your origin story that you can take to part two of your hero story? So this is an example of, this is the framework for your hero story, uh, part one, which is your origin story. You can get this uh, PDF, you can get this presentation uh, in the description, I can personally help you go through your hero story. We can flush it together um, and start your hero story so you can start your YouTube journey. I think this is the best way to start your YouTube journey. I don't think making aimless videos is the best way to start making your hero story or even telling your story or just jumping on YouTube. I think you need to flush out everything and start developing and start building your hero story. That way, I believe people will know you to be authentic, know you to be real, and they will know you. They will know you. Um, 
Yeah. So that's that's that. And I'll even break this down a little bit more on the board showing my specific hero story. I'm going to break down part of my hero story so you can just get an example of how it looks for you. And the first thing I want to say before we even start this is get rid of all your limited beliefs of you don't have a hero, a hero story. You do. You just have to get it out of you. Um, the negative thoughts, let's start with mindset, the negative thoughts that you may have, get it out of your mind. You have some value to add to the world. You have some value to add to people um, through your story. That's your currency and get the negative beliefs and the negative thoughts out of your mind immediately before we even start this or whatever. We all have problems with it. Me personally, I talk to myself every single day like I'm my own therapist and tell myself I'm great every single day. Try it, <laughs> it may work for you, it does work for me. I tell myself that I'm no different than anyone else and I don't look at anyone else's journey and compare it to my journey at all. So that's what I don't do. What I do do is I talk to myself every single day and I tell myself that I am good enough and I am great. So try that. But first off, before we even start this, get rid of the limited beliefs. So this is framework, uh, hero story framework, part one, which is your origin story. All right, because we all have an origin story. You may not think you have a hero story yet, but you do have an origin story, so let's start there. Hometown, let's just look at myself. Hometown. I'm from Buffalo, New York. Now, what can I say about growing up in Buffalo, New York? That's the first thing that you want to talk about, you know, the things that molded you from your hometown. What do you remember as a kid growing up in whatever hometown that you that you were from, right? For me, I can remember growing up in the ghetto. I can remember growing up in a war zone. These are the immediate thoughts and you wanna make it authentic, right? You wanna make it authentic because it's real. Just tell your real story. You don't have to actually, you don't have to make it authentic. You just have to tell your real story. Because when, you, when you're just telling your real story and what's real, it's going to be authentic. So like I said, for me, growing up in Buffalo, New York, things that immediately I remember, growing up in a ghetto, not having much, it being dangerous. I remember Buffalo being cold. I remember as a seven-year-old or a six-year-old going to uh, whatever grade that is when you're six or seven years old, but I remember my father teaching me how to ride the public bus. I used to take one bus from down the street from our house to a train station, hop the train maybe like four stations, and then get on another bus, and then walk to school or whatever, which was probably like a four or five minute walk, right? I remember doing that distinctively as a seven-year-old. And what I remember about that is it taught me a lot of independence. And it taught me how to move around Buffalo a little bit. This is origin story. This is what I remember about Buffalo. I could talk a complete video just about that one story, right? So you have so much content and so much story to tell, you just have to bring it out. What else do I remember? about growing up in Buffalo, right? That's part of that first thing. You could make a complete video. You can make five videos about that. Slide two is gonna be your background. Your background. What was your background? Did you grow up with two parents? Your background is your ethnicity. Are you black? Are you white? Are you Asian? You know, what's, you know, what's your background? Um, what your parents did for a living. How did that shape you? Uh, what were they, their occupations? Your religion. These are things of your background that you can pull out, right? You can pull out several things. Uh, I can say, from my background, I'm a black man and my father was a master plumber and my mother was a nurse, right? Uh, 
I did not live in a, a, a two family home. I switched from my mother's house to my father's house. My mother was a Christian. My father was a Muslim. Many stories that I can pull from that in itself, right? So that's your background in slide two. You can you can you can get so so deep into these into these things into this origin story that you can pull out so much. And this is how people are, is going to get to know you. Not only people that you might want to want to see you on YouTube, but this is. If you think long game, what your grandkids, your great grandkids is, are, is going to want to see of you. Like they're going to know about your hometown, how you grew up. Imagine if your grandmother or your parents did this and you were able to watch that and watch their hero story as they grew, right? Their background. What was their, the background? They, you know, did they have any type of Italiano or any type of other African descent from them, right? You can tell all of this starting in part one of your origin story, right? Your background, slide two, and that's how you're going to flush out that. Now, this is a fun one for me, right? Because it's your, it's your dreams plus asper, aspirations. Sorry, don't know how to spell. Dreams plus aspirations. What were these? When you were young, what did you dream to become? Um, for me, let's, we can say, NBA player or NFL player, architect, Engineer, these were all of my interests as a kid, right? So I can tell a story about wanting to be an NBA player. I can tell a story about wanting to be an NFL player. I can tell a story about, I'll give you one, I'll tell you a story. I wanted to play football so bad, and I'll take you back again from when I was seven years old, but I'll even go back further to when I was six. I used to watch Little League football, this, this uh, football team called the West Side, they were, they were the West Side part of the city, right? And that was the name of their uh, organization, West Side. And um, I, my, my dad used to take me to the games when I was like six years old. And you couldn't play until you were seven. So this full year we watching games, my cousin played for the older team. And I'm like, man, like I cannot wait to play. The time came for me to play. I'm seven years old, we're going to register, and me and my dad were in the truck. He says, yo, I'm taking you to register, it's football time, and I'm like, I'm on the passenger side, I'm thinking like, damn, I didn't signed up for something that I really didn't want to do, because I was scared, right? I was scared. And um, we get to the field, and it's time to get out, and go sign up and go with the team and start practice, basically, first day. And I uh, say, hey, Dad, I don't think I want to play no more. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to play no more. And uh, he says, yo, Hassan, get out the car. Or he said, get out the truck. Hassan, get out the truck. Yeah, well, no, I, I'm okay, Dad, Dad, I'm good. I actually have seen this other thing that I wanted to do. Hassan, get out the truck. I'm crying now by this time. I'm crying. I'm bawling. I'm bawling to know I don't want to play. I don't want to play because I was scared. I was scared to. I was scared for what was going to happen. I didn't know. I was scared of the unknown, basically. Long story short, my dad yells at me, get out of the truck. I have to get out of the truck. I don't know what he would have did to me if I did not get out of the truck, but I had to get out of the truck. I signed up and this shaped my life because I went through that season. I got over that fear. We actually won the Tyro Bowl championship. I was playing for the, the, the Little League, the littlest team called the West Side Longhorns. We won the championship. It was the Tyro Bowl championship. So my very first intro into sports, I was a winner. And that carried me all throughout my sports career. I never wanted to lose just from that. That's Dreams and aspirations, just an example of a story that you can tell. You can tell whatever story you have. 
but I have stories about wanting to be an architect, an architect engineer or NBA player, of course. So just an example, right? Early obstacles, right? Early obstacles of this, because this right here is the main thing where we're trying to get to. This is the, this is the, the, the destination, shall we say. But we know in our hero story, it really is no destination. You start to know that in, in later in this framework, you start to know that this is not anything. But here, you think, in this origin story, you think destination, right? Here, you think destination. Now, your early obstacles to get here, what's an early obstacle that you had, that you can remember, that you can flush out? Early obstacle for, okay, let's just stick with being an NFL player, right? Early obstacle. I wasn't fast. As much as I wanted to be a running back, I wasn't fast. The other thing is, I was getting tall. At this point in time, the only people that were running backs were short. So these are my early obstacles that I'm having in order to get to what I believe is the destination, which was the NFL as a seven, eight, nine-year-old kid, right? Um, and this is all part of your origin story. So you can tell stories from whatever obstacles that you may have had, right? The early obstacles. Now, you want to what? Overcome these obstacles. And the question is, what did you do in order to overcome these obstacles? If you did anything, to overcome these obstacles. So if I wasn't fast, maybe I trained on speed, which I didn't. I was getting tall. This is something I can do nothing about, right? only thing you can do in this situation is become the outlier become the tall running back become the brandon jacobs the 64 running back become the outlier so you can do that right you can become the outlier or you can say hey this may not be my path. And you can switch paths to possibly saying, hey, basketball may be the thing that's more shaped for me. However, you in your origin story, right? You told us where you're from, your background, what were your dreams, your aspirations, your early obstacles, and then how did you overcome these obstacles if you did. In this, how much things can you pull out of yourself in order to give value to a younger you or younger people that's starting their origin story? And that's what this is for. It's not for you, it is for you a little bit, but it's not mainly for you, it's for you to give value to other people in the world, to you, for you to give value to the world. Don't leave this earth without giving the value to the world. Don't continue to take and take and take and take from the world without putting out value in the world. You don't want to be that person when you die. From here, we went from all of these to bam, the learned 
lessons from the origin story. So we circle all the way up to the lessons that you learned from that origin story. Let's go back to the story with my dad. I learned to be a winner immediately at seven years old in that season. I learned what it was like to win. I also learned what it was like to have adversity and be scared and overcome that fear. I learned that all in just that one story, right? So just in that one story, I can tell you boom, 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 boom. I have several of those stories. <laughs> like I have several of those stories and that's where you wanna kinda dig deep into your yourself and tell that origin story to the world. But it's also therapeutic for you to be able to pull out those things yourself uh, to remember your origin story and what makes you you because at the end of the day, all of these things make you the person that you are today. So just a brief on origin story. Again, I'm taking five people uh, to do this with. I will help you flush out your origin story and we can start making videos, make a channel, build your channel. If you have a channel, we can start from scratch, I believe. If you have a channel and you don't have much traction and you don't have your audience yet, this is a great way to start framing your story, right? Framing everything in your story because you need this or you need this origin story, but you need this hero story because you are a hero, but you just probably don't even know it yet. You have a hero story and it's just like, yo, you don't know it yet. So that is um, the, the part one. And like I said, the, the, uh, the presentation, you can get that for free. If you want me to consult you on the framework, this is only part one. We'll be going through more of the hero story and I'll give you examples of my hero story so you can start shaping your hero story. All right, that's it for this.